Hey guys, it's Olsi here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually transfer uh, clothes or accessories to your B-Roy model. Uh, last time I actually did a tutorial on how to actually use B-Roy Studio, so you can check it out on right over here on the screen. You can check it out. Uh, click on it and then come back to this video so you can understand what's actually happening here. <laughs> Alright, so... On that video, I went through Vroid Studio on everything on how to uh, create your own avatar and everything. And I went through Booth, like this website right here, and I explained like briefly like how it worked, but I did I didn't go thoroughly on everything, so. We're just gonna go here and we're gonna, now I'm gonna explain how it all works, basically. So basically what we do is go to booth.pm slash en, which is right over here. This is where it takes you. And this is what you're gonna find. You're gonna find basically uh, different textures for clothes, hair, uh, whatever you want. And you basically shop for any of the items that you want. So this, for example, costs around 350 yen. This one is 1,500 yen, which is basically, uh, like for example, 350 yen, that's like around $4 maybe. So it's a little, it's cheap. It's a little bit cheap. It's not that expensive, but you can, you can also find free stuff over here as well. So for example, let's say you want, uh, a jacket let's say you want a normal jacket so you basically go here you go to Google Translate uh, and make sure that it's in Japanese because that way you'll get more you'll get more results if you do it like that okay so you want a jacket so that's basically the what it means in Japanese so you just put it here you put it Vroid first and then you right click and paste the what you want and you just wait till it loads. So once you put on the the keywords here, you basically it basically gives you the result. So I put jacket, and this is the result. You basically get a lot of uh, different jackets here. Uh, some at a reasonable price, around 100 yen, 300 yen. But if you don't want like, uh, let's say you want just a free free jacket, you just click that and then it'll gladly like change it to all the jackets that are basically free. So there's that there's that option as well. Oh my god, it's so slow. So after you decided to choose which of the items that you want, uh, you're gonna go down here and look for the terms of service. In this case, it doesn't say like terms of service, but usually you'll find uh, the keywords terms of service here. You read it. Uh, for the instructions on how to import your item to your avatar and as well uh, to make sure that it's actually uh, you're allowed to actually like use this jacket for commercial use uh, such as such as uh, VTubing or you know going to VR chat sometimes still sometimes some people will require you to credit them so it'll say it right here uh, but in this case, it says here that you don't have to credit the uh, the artist, so you should be good to go, and you can actually like uh, add it to the cart here, and it'll show up in your cart, and then you can actually purchase it, and then download it. But let me just show you like how it works. So, for example, once you click Add to Cart, it's gonna be right here. And you basically go to the checkout and then you do like the the usual pro, uh, process on how on setting up your credit card and all and all that junk. So once you're done downloading like all the out, uh, the outfits or all the accessory or the accessories that you want for your character, uh, you just open up Vroid Studio and go to your avatar. What you're going to do is basically you're gonna go to outfit and let's say you want uh, yeah you want the 
the clothes, the clothes that you want to put to your avatar. So what you do is you basically go here, you click on the plus and you choose which the, of the template that you want. So when you purchase a, any clothing item, let's say a t-shirt, a color t-shirt, a white neck t-shirt, uh, in the instructions, it'll say what type of template what type of template your uh, your clothes is gonna be. So for this case, it's uh, my template is gonna be a hoodie. So we're just gonna click that. And there we go, you got your hoodie right there. And after you add that, so as you can see here, you, I basically added, uh, it added a new template here, so it's right here. Um, after that, you're just gonna go to right here on customize and then you're gonna click on edit texture you're gonna wait a little bit until it uh, it downloads and there we go we got it right here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to layers where it says layers and where it says defaults design you're gonna right click and then you're going to import so once you open the once you click on import uh, and find the 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 folder where you put the clothes you're gonna find it right here and you're just gonna click on it and there we go it added your you basically added your the clothing that you want it basically added it there so yeah and basically if you found jeans or you found dresses or anything like that you do the same thing you go to custom you add it edit edit the texture uh, then import it and you do the same thing to everything so for bottoms dresses neck arms inners so for example uh, you I also added some rings here so you basically go here to the custom you go to the plus you click on blank and it's right there you go again to the edit texture you click on again default and design import uh, you go back here, let's go back here. And there you go. And as you can see, I added a few details. I added a ring right over here. It's right here. And yeah, you can add that if you want. All right, so to add hair, it's going to be a little tricky but it's pretty easy to do um, all you got to do is basically go to here to the main menu again to the model selection and you're gonna click open and you want to make sure that your hair file that you downloaded on booth it's a b-roy file not a png file otherwise it will not work and what you want to do is basically click on open like you open it and you wait for a little bit and there we go there's your hair right over here uh, just for letting you guys know I did not make this hair preset it was made by somebody else uh, I'll leave a link down in the description so you can support the person who made this they did a really good, good job doing it uh, but yeah that's basically what you do once you uh, once you have the hair there you go to back to the model selection and it's gonna be added here and what you do is you go to the to your avatar and you go to your hairstyle and you make you just basically find it here where it was actually saved you just keep going let's see uh, up and there we go we got it right here and you're gonna click the item here and there we go you got the item here and obviously you can actually uh, color it so that way it fits to it fits with the color of your of your hair and yeah so that's about it uh, that's all you got to do basically uh, if you have any questions or doubts feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll help you guys out so yeah Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below if this video was helpful or did I leave any details that weren't mentioned in the video. 
Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I also want you guys to know that I stream on YouTube on weekdays at 6 p.m. Eastern. Be sure to tune in and we can hang out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.